Recently, I had the funniest thought that in this day and age, anything is possible. I mean, there was a time when if I needed to create something spectacular and spend a copious amount of time there studying and learning before you could learn what to do. Today, information is at our fingertips. Personally, I have realized that anyone can become anything. Personally, I am slowly stopping at nothing to feed that curious anger within me. What surprises me though is how so many young people still loaf and waste their lives on what doesn't matter in the hope that someday they would get lucky and find success. No, they won't. Let's be truthful here. Success doesn't come by luck. Success comes by intentionality. It doesn't take work to become useless or to become a failure. But if you must become anything meaningful in life or build anything worthwhile in life, it takes intentionality and focus. Today, I'll be sharing with you three F's that will keep you broke. If you're new here, do subscribe to our channel so you don't miss other exciting videos like this. 1. Fear When we talk about fear, most people think it is just a negative emotion that holds you back from doing great things. But really, no, fear can be a positive driving force for achieving great things. While growing up, I was not allowed to do a lot of things around the house, so I grew up not knowing how to take responsibility for my life. I was afraid I would grow up to become lazy. And since I knew lazy people always ended up broke, I wanted to just get out of laziness at all costs. The fear of being lazy helped me to start working hard on things. I did much more than I could each time, challenging myself even when I knew I could not get something done. With every achievement, I was encouraged to keep working. I didn't even know when I had gotten used to working hard. Fear can be a positive force that drives you towards your goals or negative influence that holds you back from achieving your goals. So, you see, the problem isn't the fear you feel. The problem is your attitude towards the fear. No successful person makes truly great things without being afraid. You won't reach a point where your life will be void of fear. Even great speakers experience a bit of fear in the first few seconds they step up the platform to speak. Use fear as a leverage for your success, not as an excuse for staying back. 2. Faulting others If you want to make progress, blame yourself. If you're going to stay down, blame others. There are a ton of people who claim not to blame others for their problems. But still, they never stand up to take responsibility for their lives. The reason is simple. They do not think it is their fault that their life is the way it is. I live in a country where over 75% of the population blames the government for whatever is wrong. In observing developed nations, here's what I realized. Great nations are often not built by the government. They are created by great individuals. Great individuals make great nations. So, if you take a country full of mediocre thinking citizens and you exchange those citizens with citizens of other developed countries, those developed countries are more likely to disintegrate within a few years. The problem isn't about what we have or what we don't have. The problem is our mindset. Keep blaming others, circumstances, situations, background, lack of education, your parents, etc. for your lack of success and you will stay down. Nobody is responsible for your failure. Yes, things may not have gone the way you wanted. Choices might have been made that aren't fair to you. But if there's nothing you can do to change the past, then it's unsafe to stay glued to the past. Your progress isn't tied to your history. Your growth is tied to looking beyond your predicaments to moving on against all odds. Nobody is responsible for your failure in life. Nobody is accountable for your success either. You either create the life you want or you watch things happen to you. 3. Fakeness This matter of fakeness is quite severe for young people. In the age of social media, it has become a norm to keep looking rich, behaving rich, acting wealthy, and yet never even be rich in mindset. Young people are often so quick to join the charade of making so much noise on social media. Many young people have committed suicide because their mates seem to have what they do not have. Listen to this. What you don't know is that people will make you see what they want you to see on social media. If I am flat broke and can't afford a meal, I wouldn't post that sub story on the internet. Never compare yourself to others, especially on social media. In fact, the less time you spend on social media, the better your life will be. Here is my personal opinion about social media. Unless you're using social media for business or making some form of impact in a way, whatever else you're doing on social media is just a waste of time. And it shows such a person does not have a vision for his life. I am too busy with work and how I have to grow. I don't even have time for social media. 
Successful people are so grounded in succeeding, they don't even pay attention to who sells what on social media. Your problem may be that you pay too much attention to social media instead of working on your life. I know someone who could wake up to social media and spend hours on it. There is no better way to waste your life than to spend so much time drooling over people's pictures and posts on social media. Find a vision for your life. If you are truly serious about it, that vision will drive your growth so hard you won't even have time for frivolities like social media. If this video inspired you, like the video. We love you.